Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Slam and Synapsis. My name is Albert Gurrier. It's been a while, very long time since I've done one of these. So, had some time this Easter weekend, decided to slip this in. I've had a pretty busy weekend otherwise. Um, I do want to wish everyone a happy Easter. Hope everyone had a good holiday today. I wish you the best there. I've had a very busy weekend. One thing gets added, another thing gets added, another thing gets added. I've had so much time doing other things that just sitting and relaxing has been very eludible. So, I had some things on the mind, so I decided to throw a video together, and here we go. Um, sitting out here in the cold, brisk air at the time, so if you know some mail, if you see the mailbox behind me, then you know that I'm outside. <laughs> so, anyhow, Dean Ambrose, the WWE then World Heavyweight Champion cashed in his money in the bank, and was riding on top of the world. He went on the Steve Austin podcast, where Austin pretty much asked him questions about just wrestling, but then he got into a subject that Ambrose wasn't very comfortable talking about, and that was his past with his family, with his father, just had issues, he just kept avoiding questions. Very low-key, he, he, he just... And Austin would try to drag answers out of him, but basically Ambrose didn't want to answer it. To me, it's no surprise that shortly after that, that he lost the World Heavyweight title. Here's why it doesn't surprise me. And this is what the topic of this sub what this video is going to be, a be about <laughs> once I find my tongue. Currently right now, we have Ronda Rousey who just came into the WWE from the UFC. Very credentialed athlete, judo expert, um, UFC heavy, UFC champion. Pretty much on the top of her world in the mixed martial arts world. Since she's been on WWF, uh, WWE, she, it's been kind of, her segments have been robotic in a sense. But that's not what I'm talking about. Not what, that's not what I'm going to talk about here. I'm going to talk about her things outside the ring. Now, lately, whenever I've seen interviews done where she, where they mention her losses, she shuts off. She just has this look on her face like, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to get into this. I don't want to discuss it. And to be honest, until she exercises those demons, she's going to run into an issue should, should she decide to go forward in WWE. Now, where I compare this to Dean Ambrose is that since they're both basically blocking off those painful portions of their past, WWE tends to like people that overcome adversity. If, if she continues on this path, she may be acting. She may be putting on a very good role and putting on a deadpan face and not talking about it. But if she's not acting, then that's something that's going to hurt her. That's going to hurt her later on in her WWE career because basically WWE prefers people who have overcome diversity, have overcome problems that have shown that they could face up to their past and move forward. You look at someone I. They should get they should get Rousey with Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, well known for her eating disorders, well known for her issues, but she overcame those problems and was able to talk about it freely, freely and encourage people of any gender that you can you can't overcome whatever problem that you have. So basically, she gets utilized as a talking face, uh, basically the face of the company on interviews because she could go out and represent the company well so that when those things are brought up, she's able to comfortably talk about it and just give her overall view and just show how much, how far she's come since those problems. That's what Rousey needs to do. That's what Ambrose needs to do. Needs to get with people to talk about stuff overcome it and then be able to then when they ask questions about it to then say hey i yeah this was a this was a tough loss to me this was a tough issue 
but we made amends with it. We went forward. In Rousey's case, I took those losses as a learning tool that basically it humbled me, etc., 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 etc. But I'm a much better person now as a result of that. Until she does that, then she's going to have these issues where people are just going to ask her questions, and she's not going to be the best representative for the company in terms of any place they may send her for doing press junkets. So, I know it's her right now. She seems kind of robotic. Rousey used to be, like, very fluid. She was confident about herself. And granted, this may be, obviously, most of it's going to be a creative thought process. But I haven't... If you told me Rousey was coming to WWE, it'd be like, cool, Rousey's in. She's going to provide this fire. She's going to just turn the world on edge and be the best in WWE the way she was in UFC. But the way she's coming off in terms of her... Of her things in the ring as well as how she's being con- how she's conducting interviews outside the ring i don't see her career lasting long in wwe like i said unless she's acting which is all which is possible because she's been in movies she may know how to respond and just have this aura of of invincibility if she's acting fine you're doing the best job in the world but if she's not then she needs to work on those issues that need to be overcome so if you have any opinion on this drop me a comment in the box below if you do like this video throw a like on it subscribe to my future videos although lately i've been doing a lot of gaming content so this happens once in a while so just be aware of that if you do throw a subscribe thing on there but let's see is there anything else i could discuss here because in my brain i'm thinking i'm overlooking something so Oh, well, everything's one take here. So that is going to be it for me today. My question goes out. This question goes out to everyone that's viewing this. Is there anything that you have in your past that you feel that you need to overcome? That's holding you back? That's basically just burdening you? Myself, personally, I could speak from experience. There were issues that happened in my life that... I kept holding on to that kept weighing me down that kept that kept me from being the best that I could be till one day I'm looking in the mirror and I start saying to myself stuff saying why are you letting this happen to you why are you why are you being affected by this let it go learn from it be the just just be the best you that you could be it wasn't easy but it was doable and to this day, since that happened, I have a much brighter outlook on life. So, for Albert Gurrier, this is Slam and Synapsis. See you next time, and so long from ringside. Goodbye, everybody.